Hello everyone, David here, Mixbus TV, and with me today, my dear friend Warren. Always good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. How are you doing? I'm great, and thanks for letting me come to your studio for the first time. Yeah. I've never seen his studio. Well, you... I have. I've seen it a hundred times, <laughs> thousand times on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, do you like it? It's pretty amazing, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think you could have got some bigger eaves. I know. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like this big, and and that's it's funny that you say it because in video they never look as big as they don't, the in person. But they are about that, this size. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty big. Yeah, yeah, they're about they're, that size. So they're like half a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, very they're, nice. They're indeed. beautiful. I love them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you got the little ten uh, thirties of those. Uh, ten original, ten thirty ones. Ten thirty ones. Genelec wooden box. I. See, I thought they were the smaller ones because the big eaves make Ex them look tiny. Exactly. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's so, so someone said the same thing. It was like, oh, your room is small. No, no, no it's not the room is small. It's the monitors that are huge. huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, uh, I, I looked for those old yeah. Genelex for a long time because they're I know. discontinued and uh, Andy Wallace used yeah. them and I'm like, I want them. <laughs> it was, <laughs> when, I, when I grew up, Doing this, the the perfect combination was the 1031s or 32s and a pair of NS10s. Yep. Every studio I ever went into in Britain or America always had NS10s, 1031s or 1032s. Yep. All of them. Yeah. Every studio had that combination yeah. was like the sound of the 90s. But for you, because the, the 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 eaves have got that they're like got the most massive low end, but not out of control. Don't get me yeah. wrong. Some really tight. And the, the, and the Genelex at the time were some of the best low end, mm -hmm. but they're very mid range forward, which I'm used to. Yeah. Do you, how do you find working between the two? They're the perfect combination really? for me because uh, here's the thing with the Eve, even though they are so massive and, like mm -hmm. you said, they have this incredible low end, they are not hi fi, they're not pretty. Right. They are right. extremely critical listening. Right. right. And, and they are extremely balanced right. as well. While the Genelex kind of point out, if something is too sharp, if something is yeah, too harsh, it's mid, yeah, and it's yeah. something in the mid range that yeah. just bite too much, I, I see. And uh, I really, I really love them. It's just a perfect combination for me. And um, I feel like that Eve and all all the speakers we've we've tested are like some of the most modern sounding speakers. Yeah. So when you listen to like really, really heavily processed exacting mixes where you can tell they've been using dynamic EQs and multi bands and making everything perfect. They're like amazing sounding on mm -hmm. these. Yeah, yeah. So I can tell that people that are really going for like massive frequency response, loads of depth, mm -hmm. are using Eves. Yeah. No, they they changed my my life. And you know that I've mixed with everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, even when we were at a harmony together, yeah, we yeah. had huge towers. We had any yeah, kind yeah. of speakers we wanted. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And uh, when when I got these ones, I'm like, okay, I'm done. Uh, the, right. the, the the search is over. Well, I'm getting a new studio with two rooms, so you can well, come down and use one of those. Absolutely. And we'll I have some that. eaves, so we can set some eaves up there. Perfect. Shout out to Kirsten. Shout out to all the guys. Yes, and Roland. <laughs> yeah, Roland. Roland. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But yeah. Yeah, I yeah, know. I've never been uh, this happy with the setup. Between my monitoring system, my, my room, and the flock. Yeah. You know, with all the crazy, you know. Oh, yeah, you got yeah, the flock. Yeah, I got the flock, man. Where is it? Where is it? It's right there at the bottom. Right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so that's for those people who don't know, it's a digital patch bay. Mm -hmm. Super smart. Yeah. And uh, besides the fact that you don't touch any cable ever, and you don't have the spaghetti, you know, uh, I patch should get bay, the flock. you should get the flock. Yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah. When I do a mix, yeah. uh, first of all, I can switch any piece of gear from between my mix and my mastering rig just right. with a click. But you do a mix and you yeah. use a certain combination of machines and certain mm -hmm. routing, you just click and recall it. Wow. You don't even have to remember what you did because you can recall the <laughs> And you've got the Wes Audio with the USB connection so you can basically recall all the compressors and yes. EQs and stuff. Yes. All the stuff that is not recallable here are like yeah. really special pieces that I just can't find a substitute or just, you know. So like the nothing. Marg, you use the air band on your master bus? Is yeah. that master bus? Yeah. My, uh, or for example, the 1176 with a tube on it. Of yeah. course, the Distressor, because everything Dave makes, it's amazing, yeah. you know, uh, the SPL Q, which is my main mastering EQ, and, right. you know, it's, there, there's really, at this point, the, the cream of the crop, you You've know. got the Zulu as well. Yeah, the Zulu as well, that's a beautiful machine. Yeah, who yeah. it first told me about this? I can't remember. I was like, what is that? Yeah, it's been around for a, for a, for a while. Yeah. I got it about, you know, six, seven months ago, and uh, oh, wow. it's a really versatile, fun color box wow you know and it's passive that's and where the, are you using it uh that's really it can go anywhere, anywhere in a mix 
because it's it it is think of a, a really colored three actually models yeah. of tape machine models. Well, wow. and uh, it also has three setting three or four settings for the headroom, so yeah. you can really go from a clean yeah. master tape type to a really you know, dirty. Wow you know, cheap tape machine. So it can really go on a crazy vocal yeah. or, you know, on guitars, if you want to take away like the really harsh top end or something yeah. like that. Now you make it, me want yeah. to buy one. No, it, it's it's really cool. And, <laughs> and, you know, it's passive, so it's really a different thing. You can drive it with an EQ before. It's really cool. I'm looking at, all, you got some heritage stuff. I have a heritage successor there and yeah. uh, the Symphy Q there. I have. Uh, I haven't used that EQ yet, but I like the successor. It's really cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. I have two fatsos with the controller that Dave gave me, the extra controller. Of course, the API. Who's and LA3As the, are those? Oh, uh, those are Golden Age audio. They're really, they're really nice. And actually, wow. one is a LA2A, one is LA3A. Yeah. And uh, and of course, you know, my secret spacecraft on the moon. I don't even know what that is. What <laughs> I is know. <laughs> what is this? You know, Doctor Ramas, the plugin. Yeah, I know, but I don't use it. Matthew Lane, Dr. MS, this is the real deal. Yeah? And it's sorcery, man. It is sorcery. What are you using it on? What are you using? On the two bus, mastering for the for the most part. For the mm. most part. It's it's it should this machine should be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I say. And uh Is it is it easy to use or is it fiddly though? It is a bit fiddly, yeah. as in you if you don't know what you're doing, you right. get excited. Yeah. And then the next day you do oh did I do there because yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you did too much yeah, yeah you know yeah. so it, it, it's something that it's definitely is definitely for a trained ear right and a monitoring system that is tells it like, you like everything. the compacts though you remember the compacts what once you I got do. the compacts to sound good you're like don't touch it <laughs> yeah exactly because like, it's yeah. so fiddly these tiny little knobs and you move it a quarter of a millimeter oh no it's got oh, oh yeah for sure for sure yeah. yeah, it is. It is like that, and uh, a little bit makes a lot of difference. Right. Just like, for example, the HG2, you know, yeah. the hardware, the HG2 there, yeah. the analog box. Um, some people say, "Oh, you know, I I, I would like to have um, switches. Mm -hmm. If you put switches on that machine, you're not gonna use it because right. it it's with tubes, especially when you have two circuits, a triode and a pentode, one yeah. next to the other. A hair." In in yeah. a knob, it changes the sound completely. So if right. you had switch, it would be too much of changes between one click and another. Well, sometimes you really go there and just tap it until it sounds right. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah. Well, this is good because I was I was like thinking David's going to interview me about my new, <laughs> new book, but we're learning more about him. But that's good. <laughs> you ask me question, I'm answering. Hey, no, I love it. We're I just having it. good times. No, that's, this is good. That, that's what we that's who we are. We are just I gear know. geeks, you know. I know. I love I love gear. I love music. And and to yeah. be honest, I'm probably tired of hearing my own voice. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. But um, you just basically gave it away. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote a book. Here it is. You wrote a book. Yeah. I did have some very serious help from Jerry Hammock. Jerry Hammock um, wrote, um, I think, five books on the Beatles recording nice. techniques. So, so I thought he was the perfect person to take my, you know, you know, my talking about stuff. Dun, dun, dun. It's real. It's like paper. It's real. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> and it's a big, it's a book. big freaking book. <laughs> it's it started. It was 475 pages, nice. and then and then we got uh, got some smart people involved and managed to edit it down to like 450 or something. But it's a it's a crap ton of stuff, and it it's everything. You know, we looked to be honest, we looked at everything that was out there, and we sort of thought, what are the shortcomings? Well, how can we make it better? Yeah. As it says on the front, studio setup, pre production, producing, recording, mixing, mastering. Um, and it's 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 not just me of the last thirty or forty years of doing it. It's like tons of acquired knowledge because you know I've interviewed lots of smart people like yeah, you. Yeah. So I take Thank you. stuff you've told me, <laughs> and, and it's like, in the book. And in the book, I got Bob Clearmountain, uh, yeah. CLA. You know, everybody. I just I listen to them and go, okay, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. And then I interpret it and, and write it in here. And it's everything. It's like building studios. You know, um, what gear to buy, when to buy used, when to buy new, you know, bang for the buck. Really trying to help people, because you know how it is. It's like you go into forums and stuff and everybody's telling you that unless oh. you have this exact piece of equipment, you don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> and you and I know that's absolute baloney. And absolutely not true. Not only, it's yeah. even worse because in some forums and board, yeah. everything is bad. 
Yeah, yeah. You know, you can't find it. It's, it's for some reason, like yeah. <laughs> nobody agrees on something yeah, because, yeah. you know, so if you if you really don't have a way to filter information, yeah. you know, and that's the big problem I feel is today, you are going to have paralysis by analysis. Yeah, yeah. A lot definitely. of people ask me this question because should I yeah. buy this one or this one or this one? Yeah. Or this? Don't overthink it, you know, yeah, just, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, you need to learn how to use whatever you have. And uh I, I'm very happy actually that you did this because Talking yeah, distressor. Shout out to Dave there. I mean, the reason um, why I put distressor in it. Um, thank you. I'll, I, just to interrupt for a second because I saw that. I mean, to me, it's like when people ask me if I only had one compressor, I go, this one. By distressor. Yep. I'm lucky. You are too. I mean, I have LA2As and this and that, yeah. and I have 55 different compressors. If I only had to have one, it would be that one. Yeah, yeah. All, all the way. So that's forever. the sort of thinking of the book. It's yeah. just to cut through the BS and just go, you know. Yes, you could buy 55 pieces of gear. Yes, you could do this. Or you could just buy this. You could buy that. You could buy used in this instant. You should, you know, it's trying to cut through a lot of the, what do you call it? Yeah, yeah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, bullshit. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, totally, totally. How long did it take? Three years. Cool. So this is this is a real deal. It's a real know? deal. And, yeah. Uh, I, 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 um, I like that you did this format, kind of lost a little bit i but still love books you know? i know there's, well, a, there's a lot of people that illustrations. do illustrations yeah. there's a lot of people who do love books i get asked a, a lot like yeah. what books there are around and yeah. there are not many yeah. i mean there are of course al you know rest in peace and uh you know there's there's the old books that mm -hmm. have been around forever but yeah. there's there was not there was nothing new and and updated. That's the point, I think. Yeah, we we got modeling mics in here, for instance. I mean, we're not we're not being we're talking about you know we're talking about a U forty seven, and then we're talking about yeah, but you could make a record with something a fraction of the cost. Yeah, and then of course you know the slate and the Townsend mics and everything. It's a nod to everything. And uh, what I like about it is we went to all the publishers, and uh, then we decided we're going to self-publish because if we self-publish, it means that we can be nimble. If something new comes out, we can update the book. Yeah. We can update this every six months yeah. and add something else if that's what needs to be done. I'm, I'm really super excited. That's yeah, that's really cool. I know you are generally yeah. excited. Yeah. I'm actually going to steal this and, and read it. Yeah, yeah, please do. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and uh, where where can they find it? Well, I'm sure there will be a link under your video. There will there be a go. link. There yeah. will be a link in the video. We're, do, we're doing it all through Amazon. Simple as that. Your hardback nice. and soft. <clears throat> there is. Um, I'll give you a link as well. We're gonna. We're, we're, I'm getting buying 300 hardbacks and just signing them so people, if they're one of the first 300, can can order it and uh, and I can individually, you know, say, hey, That's John, really nice. keep making metal music or whatever it might be. <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah. So the title. Pay an extra hundred, he'll sign it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the title, guys, is Home Studio Recording, The Complete Guide. Yep. And of course, it's written by Warren Hort and Jerry Hammack. Yep. I couldn't do it without Jerry. Big shout out to Jerry because he's one of those guys like us that are, uh, are creators. So I know that you're, you're, you're a special breed because you really do love the technical side of it. Yeah. Not many, it's like you and Julian Clauser uh, uh, as well, who mm -hmm. does all the interface ones. And the two guys I know that can really get into the nitty gritty of the tech. Me, I'm just a plug it in and, whoa, what does this do? <laughs> you know? Um, and so having a brain like Jerry was really good because I, I this is all my ideas, but I've got a guy like Jerry who can go, oh, yeah, but let's just streamline this and focus that. Yeah. You know, collaboration is everything oh, in, cool. in, our, in our profession, no matter what yeah. you do. Anything around music, I feel, whether you're a musician, a studio, yeah. or a tutor, or whatever it is, yeah. doing this, you know, getting together and exchange ideas is like yeah. what makes things successful. Yeah. And we've done a bunch of courses at Promix Academy. I'm sure there's links down below mm -hmm. to buy his courses as yes. well. Yes. And there's, and there's maybe, we don't know if it's, if it's going to be out already, but yeah. there's going to be or there is already a promotion at this point that we can say, right? Yeah, yeah, it should be coming out, yes. Okay, so talk about it. If, you, if you get one of my courses on Promix Academy, yep. you get a copy of Pulsar Massive, the big plugin. Yep. And Which is pretty awesome. Those guys yeah. are great. Yeah, They're, uh, absolutely. Two French guys and an Italian. Mm -hmm. That rings true for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah exactly. So... There's this promotion going on. Uh, maybe by the time this video is out, we'll have all the details and when it starts and when it ends. But if not, we'll announce it soon enough. Absolutely. <laughs> David, thanks well, for having me on. No, thank you for, for coming here and presenting the, the book. And guys, leave your comments down below. Uh, if you want to see me and Warren more together, we'll 
make it happen. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back with Eric and we'll do a, we'll do a studio tour. Yeah, we'll do that and yeah. uh, we should I do. Can't believe we haven't done it before. I, I feel we should do a live stream. It's gonna be like so fun. Oh, live stream! <laughs> All right, guys, thank yeah, you so yeah. much for watching. Comments. Comment. Easy. Get the book down below. Sell, sell, buy, sell. <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry. Thanks, sorry. everyone. Bye, bye. Bye. <laughs>